Hey, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments. I'm just about to enter 612 Sheridan, number one. As we come through the front door, if we turn to our left, we see into the uh, living room. A little to the right, we see into the kitchen, and just up past the kitchen is the dining area. But if we just take a step in, there's an entry closet. That is a nice size closet, two shelves up, hanging bar, it's about three and a half feet long and about two feet wide, so you can see quite a bit of stuff can be hung and stored in the entry closet. Now, it's, this is a beautiful apartment, so the finish on this apartment is flawless. I'm going to just show you for a second the crown moldings, which are spotless. The door frame, the trim on the door frame, again, spotless. An outlet right by the uh, entry to the kitchen. Uh, so I think what I'll do is to walk into the living room first. Living room is a very big room, a lot of windows. The windows were just replaced. As we go into the living room, if I turn to the left, you see a bath, and on either side of the bath are bedrooms. But this is just a very large room, beautiful hardwood floors. Again, flawless finishing throughout. Lots of windows up front. That is a very large radiator. If I pan a little to the right, you see the dining room. And a little bit further, you see the full length of the uh, living room. Now, what I'm going to do is just walk straight back into the uh, living room so you can see. You're looking out on Sheridan Road. These are brand new windows. This window is open so you can hear a little tiny smidge of noise. When they're closed, you wouldn't hear anything. And again, we have one window facing north in the courtyard and one facing south in the building next door card courtyard. Now I'm just going to pan around. There you see into the kitchen. And the living room is probably 22 feet long by 16 feet wide. It's a big room. And you can see where we came from, which is the entry. As I walk back towards the entry and turn to my left, you get a more complete gl a glimpse of the uh, dining room. It's another solid room. I'd say it's probably 14 feet long by about 12 or 13 feet wide. So it's a big room, another big radiator. Again, replacement windows. The windows in front are again looking out on Sheridan Road. The side windows are facing the building next door. Now what I'm going to do, there, just give you an idea. So you don't get quite as much light, but it's a, still a beautiful room. I'm backing up into the kitchen a little bit so you can see the uh, dining room longitudinally. And uh, it's just a great room. You can see back into the living room and the ceiling fan in the living room. Now, if I step back just a sec, on the border of the kitchen and the living room is a little breakfast bar. And you can see it's a granite breakfast bar. They've got two chairs here. Again, everything is very nice hardwood floors. They've got quite a bit of furniture, including an eight-person living or dining room table. So I'm going to turn from the dining room into the kitchen. And we see it's a beautiful new kitchen. And I don't mean brand new. I think it was actually put in a couple of years ago. But a full-size stove, rock countertops, microwave, great storage. Again, more rock countertops, dishwasher, cabinets and drawers underneath, cabinets and drawers, or rather just cabinets on top, a full-size fridge with a shelf above, could be used for a microwave, more cabinets uh, and a couple of shelves, more cabinets underneath, and underneath this countertop is more storage. So really just a tremendous storage, hardwood floors. It's a larger than average kitchen. I'm going to walk over to this corner for a second 
and give you another view of it. So there we're looking at the cabinets and the shelving we had trouble seeing. Um, and if we swing this way, we see the stove, uh, double stainless steel sink. There's a hose attachment to the faucet. So that extends and can be used as a sprayer. More storage up there and the dishwasher here. I'm going to open the fridge real quick just to show you how big it is. This is much bigger than your average. So I think it's probably close to six feet high. Freezer on top. Cooler and crisper drawers underneath. Shelves on the side. Shelves on the side of the very, it's not again brand new, but it's newer and very clean, very easy to use. We have an outlet underneath the rock again and the dishwasher. Whoops, no charge for the dishes, but again, obviously very usable. Newer, not brand new, but newer. The double stainless steel sink in great shape. This was the hose attachment that I was saying would convert into a sprayer. Soap dispenser, really just a gorgeous. I'll open up under the sink so you can see it's completely dry. All the storage is just very, very good. The drawers slide right in, slide right out. The stove is a full-size stove, four burners on top plenty of space underneath and all of this will be scrubbed within an inch of its life. The um, microwave is missing a handle which will be repaired. So that's the only thing to note there and I'm not sure how to get it open. So we'll just leave that the way it is. Um, again, more countertops and storage underneath just so you can have a look. I think I've beat the kitchen to death, but it's a beautiful kitchen. Another outlet, another outlet, another outlet, another outlet. If we went back, we'd see the back door. And this is the smallest bedroom. It's about mm, nine by 10. Uh, beautiful hardwood floors, although much of it is covered. See another big radiator, ceiling fan, and off the smallest bedroom is a really nicely remodeled bath. So ceramic tiles, very pretty, tank toilet, pedestal sink, flawless tiles. I mean, these tiles, I'm going to give you a close up. These things are flawless. Again, a new window. Easily open, some recessed lighting, a fan, which is very unusual in a vintage building. Nice uh, fixtures, medicine cabinet, and the shower has got to be 6'4", so you're going to have to be pretty tall to be bothered by that. <laughs> That's the hot water only. You can see the water pressure is dynamic. It's really good. And I think then there's a little marble shelf right there. So that's all there is to the second bath and the smallest bedroom. We'll come out and go back towards the entry. So there's the entry closet. We came in there. Now we'll go around this way go through and we see the second, or really this would be the primary bath. But before we get there, we'll turn to our left and we have a terrific bedroom. I'll just scan. The windows face the courtyard, which I will walk in and show you. And there is the courtyard, very green, very pretty. One more look. You see a little uh, area for a workstation with that same rock kind of uh, uh, tabletop. Space for uh, furniture, more furniture. 
ceiling fan, storage up above, and a big closet. Now the closet is in the style of the original vintage closet, but it's actually new. So if I open it up, you can see it's been refinished inside. Double bars, double hanging bars. It's about f four feet across for the hanging bars. And then there's another two feet there. So in total, it's about six feet across. Not quite three feet deep, maybe three feet deep. Just a very big closet space with storage on top. So if I step back, you get a little better sense of it. I'll close this up and we'll go out into the second bedroom. Second bedroom is a, maybe just a smidge, about the same size really, but it's got enormous number of windows. And again, the windows are new, so they're great. I mean, easy to open, easy to close. Hardwood floors, another vintage style closet. Now this, to the, uh, the windows in front, face Sheridan Road, and then the other windows face the courtyard. Big closet, not quite as big as the other one, but the same sort of style, and you get a better look at the shelving. That was on the side of the other closet. Storage above, I would say this is probably about five feet across, with the hanging bar being, the hanging bars being about four feet. Very good closet space. Give you one more look. Ceiling fan. This, I think, is a full-size bed with tables on either side. A chair for sitting. I'll walk towards the chair and swing back around the other way. You can see the dresser, the closets, the storage on top. Very pretty room. So we'll go back out. Now, we have a linen closet as we step out of the second bedroom. Again, it's a standard style of vintage, but it's been completely redone, so it's nice. Then we have the primary bathroom, a little bit bigger, ceramic floors. Again, we have the rock shelf above the to tank toilet pedestal sink, which is new and very nice. Another medicine cabinet behind the mirror, fixture, and the fan. Now the fan is really important because without moving the air and the moisture, you get that mildew mold buildup that nobody likes, as vintage buildings are well known for. We also have these newer windows, and you can see the shelf for products. Um, that really helps because you can uh, you can open and air the room out after the shower. So you've seen this tub before. The fixture is very much the same. Hot water only. And you can hear just terrific water pressure. It's really a beautiful apartment. We use words like flawless in our ads, but this is really close. Again, close up on the tiles in the shower, you can see how nice they are. A couple of towel holders. Just a very pretty, I'll give you another shot at the sink. Oh, I guess I didn't open the, uh, there you go, medicine cabinet. So I'm getting nervous that this video is too long, but it's really easy to be slow because everywhere you look, there's something nice to show. The rent here is $21.95, and that includes heat and water as we take another look at the living room into the dining room. And that's really the apartment. So I'm going to walk back to the uh, front door, and I thank you for watching.